congratulations on the purchase of your Pronto Pack. My name is Dillis Walker, and I'm one of the founders of Pronto International and one of the developers of the Pronto Pack. On behalf of the entire Pronto International team, we welcome you to the world of simulation training. Pronto International has been providing interprofessional simulation-based obstetrica neonatal and team training in hospital and clinical facilities around the world since 2009. You may have received one of these trainings in your facility. As you begin this journey, this Pronto Pack instructional video and accompanying user manual will help guide you through the steps necessary to conduct highly realistic, low-tech birth simulation in your clinical setting. This video is not intended to teach clinical skills. While this video will give you the tools to begin simulation training, always remember, you know your facility and personnel who work there, and you will need to adapt the scenarios accordingly. Use this knowledge along with the scenarios in your Pronto Pack to improve the care of women and babies you see every day and solidify your care team to ensure patient safety, kind and respectful care, and efficient and effective emergency response. Even if this is the first time you're learning about the Pronto Simulation curriculum, your Pronto Pack contains all of the basic materials and information you need to conduct simulation-based training at your facility, large or small. You may decide to watch the entire video from beginning to end or watch the chapters in pieces. We recommend that you have the Pronto Pack user manual open in front of you as you watch this video. Follow along and take notes in your manual as we go. You may find yourself returning to this video over and over again as your skills as a simulation facilitator and debriefer grow. Good luck, and remember, learning should be fun. In Chapter 1, Welcome, we welcome you to Pronto International, the Pronto Pack, and Simulation Training. In Chapter 2, Unpacking and Using the Pronto Pack, we unpack your new Pronto Pack and review the materials one by one and how to use them. In Chapter 3, The Pardo Pants, we go into greater detail about the Pardo Pants, the birth simulator used in the Pronto Pack scenarios. This chapter highlights the special features of the Pardo Pants and how to use them in a simulation scenario. In Chapter 4, Patient Setup, we detail a step-by-step -step video of how to set up and dress the patient actress, how to configure the Pardo Pants and the bleeding mechanism, and how to stage the baby and the placenta. In Chapter 5, Introduction to Simulation, we introduce you to the world of simulation. You will also learn how to run a simulation scenario, how to set up the simulation area, set group ground rules for your participants, run a pre-brief, a simulation introduction, run the scenario, and prepare for the debriefing session. In Chapter 6, Scenario Overviews and Competencies, we discuss how to run a successful scenario and also review the three clinical simulation scenarios that are part of the Pronto Pack. We discuss the overall competencies and the themes of the scenarios. These scenarios were designed to bring your participants through the learning process in an organized way, building on skills and advancing knowledge through the three simulations. Also, as a new simulation facilitator, the scenarios move progressively from easy to more challenging to coordinate and debrief, allowing you to build on your skills as a simulation facilitator and debriefer. In Chapter 7, SimPax, the SimPax are your scenario guides. We demonstrate how to use the SimPax before, during, and after the scenario. In Chapters 8 and 9, we provide video examples of the three simulation scenarios included in your Pronto Pack. Okay, ready and start. These videos are intended to provide you with an example of how the scenario may play out in your facility. Remember, your scenario will look different as the location of your scenario, the personnel present at a normal birth in your facility, and the materials and medications you have accessible may differ from the example. Chapter 8, Simulation 1, is normal birth of a vigorous baby. Chapter 9, Simulation 2, is normal birth of a non-vigorous baby. And Chapter 10, Simulation 3, is normal birth of a vigorous baby with immediate postpartum hemorrhage. In Chapter 11, Overview of Debriefing, 
we review the basics of debriefing and facilitation. Learning the scenario is only the beginning of the learning. A successful simulation program needs to have a strong facilitator who can guide participants to deeper learning and integration. In this chapter, you learn how to begin to help your team learn from simulation and take that learning to patient care. In Chapter 12, Debriefing Video Examples, we provide a video example of a debriefing session for Scenario 3 in your Pronto Pack. All right, everybody. So how did that feel? Not so easy participating in a simulation, right? I was really nervous. We highlight both good and bad debriefing and help you begin to develop the debriefing skills that will make your simulation program a success. You may choose to return to this video once you have had experience running and debriefing scenarios yourself. You may see something different the second time you watch these segments. In Chapter 13, Putting It All Together, we provide you with a final summary and checklist for getting started with simulation in your facility.